Hi, my name's John. In the last film video I did, I explained that I'd been approached by Artec asking if I'd like to do a review on one of the new plasma cutters. Naturally, I said if they're going to send me a plasma cutter, I'll certainly play with it and do a bit of review on it for them. Well, I got an email yesterday with a tracking number and it turned up the date, this is it. I've uh, brought it home from work without opening it, so I'll open it with a camera. Uh, we'll start a review by opening the box and seeing exactly what's in there. More or less the same as I did with the welder. Instruction book. As you'd expect. Let me look in the box first, see what's in there. And we'll see if not. Nicely packaged machine anyway. Okay, we'll have a look in the box, see what's in here. So we see the earth lead. Same as the welder. Copper, it didn't fit, and smaller didn't fit in the welder. This is the torch. You see, I've never done much with plasma cutters, so it'll be interesting to play with it. Here are the consumables for the end of it, I know they, they wear away quite rapidly. That's a plug for it. They've got the seal on the machine stamped in again, same as the same as the welder had. You start in English. Have a good, a good view of that later. Hey. Same sort of finish exactly the same as a welder. Nice. Just be the feed for your for your air. Nice 
sa di tiro. It's going to be worn on uh, 240 volt ESC, 30 times supply required. Do not fit the 13 amp plug. As a worn on top of there, exactly the same thing. I've got a workshop full of layers of milling machines and I've got the most miserable collection of screw drivers you could possibly imagine. I managed to get the plug onto the, onto the plasma cutter. That goes straight into my 30 tom supply so I can use the full potential of the cutter. I also have a big heavy duty extension lead that can take it outside and do cutting outside which is much preferable to cutting in here. Having a 30 tom supply in your shop is nowhere near as difficult or as expensive as you might believe. Most households will have a spare 32 amp RCD in their fuse board. It's just a case of getting an electrician to run a 4 or a 6 mil cable into your shop with a commando type 32 amp socket on the end of it. If you are tied to a 13 amp socket, r type also do a 30 amp plasma which will run of a 13 amp plug. It'll cut 8 mil plate cleanly and 12 mil plate in a push. Right, so we've got average control, gas test button to set away our air pressure, pressure gauge to check our air pressure, switch there, auto and standard, we want it on standard, din socket there for your earth lead, the fuse for your torch, and that's where your torch plugs in. Where torch plugs in is all recessed, has no live, no bits of live copper sticking out. We'll put the torch in, we'll power it up, I'll put some air on and we'll set the air pressure up. It's a ground lead, didn't fit in, just plugs in, plugs in and turns. Got a nice earth lead on the end of it. Torch is a standard fitting, plugs in. Screws up, snugs it up nice and tight. Right, we'll turn the machine round. The back of the machine we've got a regulator for the air pressure. The PCL fitting for air in the guan to. The water trap on the bottom as well. It's very important that plasma cutters have clean dry air. The air in just plugs on the back, nice and simple. Right, I'll plug the machine in, power it up, and we'll set the air pressure up. Turn it on. Turn my switch on the gas test. See that there's an orange light on there telling you it's got low, low air pressure. 50 PSI, the recommended pressure. Up to 50. You press the regulator up down, and that locks it. Doing a crumb gas test on the cup. Right, this is the business end of things, the actual torch. It's got a trigger guard on there so you can't accidentally press the trigger. John. One of the last well bollocks that can take it outside and do cutting outside, which is much preferable to cutting in here because I didn't want to bore the garage door. That runs of a 13mm 13mm plug, you do as you bastard. <laughs> 